Within this lesson, we'll be working with division word problems with remainders. Brent has 18 chocolates. He shares them with two friends. How much does each get? So it looks like we're using division here. Let's go ahead and model the chocolates. We have 18 of them. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. All right, so we have 18 chocolates. He shares them with two friends. Okay, so we're sharing them with how many people? Well, with two people, but um, we also have Brent, who's also gonna receive chocolates. So we have Brent, and then we also have his two friends. And they're each receiving these chocolates. So one for Brent, one for a friend, one for the other friend. Let's group those. Let's see. So that would be 18 into three different groups. Into three different groups. So there's one group. There's two groups of the same amount. And there is the third group of that same amount. So that each person receives six chocolates. So our division expression is 18 divided by 3, because we have three people sharing those chocolates. The quotient of 18 divided by 3, if we were to evaluate that expression, is 6. Is there a way I could check to see whether or not this is correct? Well, I could take 6 and use the inverse operation. Inverse operation of division is multiplication. And then so that would be 6 times 3 equaling 18. So our answer does make sense there. Let's see this question here. What division expression would match this array? Well, let's see what we're doing here. We're taking 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We're taking 12 for sure. And we're dividing it into how many groups? Well, one, two, and three. So we're dividing it by three. So that there are how many within each group? There's four within each group. So the division expression is 12 divided by three. So this is how it is that we would draw this division expression if we were to draw it in an array format. Okay, it's your turn to try. Draw this expression here as an array. Think about how many groups that you are creating. Pause the video while you do your work. Well, you started with 20. And we know that 20 divided by 4 is 5. So we're going to have arrays where it is that we have groups of 5. And how many groups do we have? We will have 4. So that we have 20 divided by 4 is 5 within each of those groups. So our word problem that we could have, for instance, is that we have $20 and we have four weeks that we would like to spend the $20 in. How much can we spend each week? Let's take a look at this one here. 
we have 17 divided by 5. Well, how many groups are we looking at? We're looking at five groups. So let's go ahead and draw five groups in there. And then how many total are we looking at? Well, 17. Well, one in the first group, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Not quite at 17 yet. Well, I can't place another one in here because there are not enough to be able to give one to each of those groups. So I actually have two of them that do not fall within each of those groups. So within each of the five groups, there must be that same amount within there, and that same amount is three. So 17 divided by five is three, and this amount right here is our remainder. So our remainder is two. Our remainder is two. So when I divide those 17 by five, I get three with the remainder of two. As you see, I've labeled that now where 3 is that quotient, and the remainder is 2. Now, if we were to check this, we would take 3, we would multiply it by 5 to get 15. But 15 does not match up with 17. What do we have to do with that remainder? We have to add the remainder to the product. So we still have to add back in 2. So 15 and 2 more does give us 17, which is what we are dividing. There are 27 students in the class. The teacher would like to make four equal teams. How many people are on each team? So we're now looking at this problem here. And so it looks like we have a division problem where there's four equal teams. Let's go ahead and set this up as an array. So that's one team there. There's another team. There's another team. There's another team there. And we have 27 students that we're putting into these teams. Well, we could start, of course, by just taking that same approach that we just took until we get up to 27. So at this point, that's 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. In other words, these three are a remainder here where it is that they don't quite fit within each of those groups because we wanted to make equal teams. How many people or students are on each team. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. So there are six students on each of those teams. Six would be on each of those teams. And then we'd have to decide what these three mean then. What is the three and what does this remainder mean then? So we had 27 divided by four equaling six with the remainder three. Those three mean what? Well, the three mean the leftover students that aren't assigned to a group. So we would say, okay, maybe these three students, um, they could be helpers. Or they could be judges. So this part right here, so that's the remainder. Because we're making equal teams. So one of the big things there is to be able to interpret that remainder or understand what it is that that remainder means. We could, of course, have one more person on each of those teams, but then we wouldn't have equal teams anymore, and it would not answer the question. The other thing we want to express our answer clearly, it says six people would be on each of those teams. What's the quotient? 
What's the remainder? Yes, quotient is 6, and the remainder is 3. 3 what? It would be 3 students is the remainder.